Hi guys, I am MD Shahjada Imran. Today I will make a video about how we can read database table data using Java programming, JDBC and Eclipse. That is what I will be showing hands on in this video. So first, um, I have created a steps I have created this uh, word document that shows the steps and prerequisite so the prerequisite is I need to have a database table um, ready so that I can read data from the table so I have that uh, ready so this is the database table name lemon I use the I execute the SQL query select a star from lemon to see the see all the data so this uh, table has the two column employee id column and the first name column and has 10 rows total the first column holds the integer values these are integer values and the second column holds the string values in terms of java programming um, and these are considered a string value and these are considered integer value and here is the ID and the password that I use to connect to the database. So ID is HR and password is HR. Now so this uh, database table is ready. Now I will be reading this value uh, from uh, Eclipse. So this is the prerequisite that I have explained what is prerequisite. Now, I will be creating a Java project with class. So this is Eclipse. I will create a Java project. I will give a name my project. I will click on finish. So I have created this project. It has a source folder. I will create a package under source folder. So it's uh, my package. My package underscore db. db means database. Uh, and I will create a class. My class. I will also check this checkbox so that it will create the main method and I will check this one so that it creates the comment and give my full name here so now this is step I have showed create a Java project with class that, that is the first step I have showed Second step is to install JDBC jar file. This is the JDBC jar file that I have to install from the internet. So this is the address that I can use to install a JDBC jar file. It's launching the Google Chrome. The name of the JDBC jar file is ojdbc 6 11.2.0.3. This is the actual name of the jar file. So I'll paste the address URL in the address bar. And now I'll click on uh, jar to download the to download the JDBC jar file so you click here it's downloading and it's downloaded now I will click on show in folder so that you can see this is the jar file that I have downloaded from the internet that is the second step is to install this jar file from the internet and add to the build path so now i will show how we can add to the build path 
so to add to the build pad I will be, I will first create a folder I will give a name live and I will click on finish so the folder will be created then I will be pasting that jar file that I installed from the internet so I will be copying or maybe I will do the cut and I will paste here paste here so that has been moved from the downloads folder from this uh, downloads folder to the leaf file uh, leaf folder so it's there now i will be adding to the build path so for that i will right click on the project name click on properties and um, click on libraries and then click on add jars here i didn't click on the libraries because the library was already clicked but still if sometime if this one will be clicked or this one will be clicked therefore i have to click this one um that's why i say that uh, click on this library even though i didn't click because it's already it was already clicked anyway so and then i will be choosing this one and click on ok and click on apply so this has been uh, added I'll click on ok so this value this uh, symbol appeared and this also showed up that wasn't previously showing here so I have added this uh, JDBC jar file to the project so that I have showed hands on now I can mark the entire step as green because I showed hands on how we can install this particular jar file the JDBC jar file from the internet and store in a particular folder and then um, this is the particular folder and then add to the project uh, add, add in the build path of the project so that I have showed now I will be this I have to import uh, I have to import this package uh, to the project so that's very simple I just have to write here import I am PORT import and Java dot SQL dot static semicolon so I have imported this one that I also showed now I have to write Java programming code which I will I will not write I will not write it right now I will just uh, copy that I previously created so this is uh, the project that I, I have previously created so I will copy from there I will copy the entire code from there so that I don't have to type at this time copy paste here maybe one second bracket is missing let me copy one more time from here so I will be copying from here to here this one is this second bracket is for this main method so I will be copying before that okay I paste here now it says I will be adding exception I just added one exception here so now I close that save it so this is the code that uh, we have to write this is write a Java programming code which I previously wrote so I just copied 
so this is the code that we have to write and here I explain before I explain I run I run to see what happened I run it so it displayed it displayed all the data uh, in the table so this is the database table it has two two column and ten rows that uh, showed up in the console this is these are two columns and ten rows now I will explain so this is what we have to write this is we have to write class dot for name this is we have to write in the code this is the connection string that we have to write now in the second line it says this connection and this that is the data type and this is the object name or the reference variable and this is the assignment sign and this is the object that I'm using to get the connection the connection connection and this is the connection string where I have to put the URL this is the URL XE is for enterprise edition and this would be the same and then user ID and user password so here this is the ID ID is HR and the password also HR which I needed to connect to the database the same ID and password the ID and password I will be using to the connect to the database the same ID and password I have to use here so I have to use here H1 HR and HR now I have created an instance um, I have created this is the data type statement and st is the object name or the reference variable so this con comes from here and then create a statement this will create an statement now I am storing the SQL query as a string into the variable called SQ, SQL that's um, data type is a string so this is string holds the SQL query and that that value is stored in this variable now I created the record set saying that uh, re result set result set RS I can say result set or record set and the RS this is the reference variable so this is holding the result set and by executing this SQL query this SQL query will be executed it says a record set dot execute query and this this means select a star from lemon that is the table name lemon is the table name yeah lemon is the table name it says select a star from lemon this is the sql query this is a sql query there are so many different type, types of queries each query is, returns a specific result set here so this query this is select a star from lemon this query is used here is used here um, so it says execute query and store the result here now in I used a while loop saying that while record set next this returns true if this from here to here if this returns true while it's true then execute this statement in other words ex I'm telling to ex um, execute this lines until the record set record set or the result sets uh, has no more value first it will the while loop will iterate through 10 times since there are 10 rows there are 10 rows here the first iteration it will print this uh, line second iteration it will print this line third iteration it will print this line 
fourth iteration it will print this line it will print until when there is no other record that is what i have sh said here while record set has n while record set has value if this returns value that means i'm moving to the next record and it has value then i will be printing it once it returns false means once there is no record then it will exit out from the for loop in other words uh, using this while loop i told to print everything from this table to the console so that's how we can uh, okay so i'm mark this also done i have explained how we can write the java programming code uh, and execute the code also i have executed the code so i have showed how we can read uh, data how we can read data from the database table uh, using um, java programming and eclipse um, thank you guys for watching